game stop and watch it. There is a fifth dimension, beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Okay, there is so much wrong with this image. Number one, I'm not paying for that copyright. Number two, why is dude in so much pain? I have a nose piercing too, get over it. What I don't have though is a brake pipe in my throat, so maybe you're winning. Imagine living in the universe where we didn't get Boko, but instead we got his cousin Bozo. Beware of tra- Oh, thanks man, you do the same. It might be too late for me though, I don't like the look in this dude's eye. As if the engines weren't enough to worry about, they have bees the size of the engine's face that are on meth. Wait, was I talking about James or the bee? I think I think both applies. You know how people get those things in their throat after they smoke? Do you think that's what that is? So, little known fact, uh, when these events are done with the faces they're using, they will either keep them in storage or will dispose of them in funny ways. Like, he's almost definitely about to be sat on fire and sacrificed to Cthulhu, and it's just what you gotta do. Ooh, no, 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 I don't, I don't trust the look on this Thomas's face either. This guy was built and immediately served a restraining order against all children. <sighs> Please. <sighs> You're gonna make me haul around these stinking ass children. Give me a fucking Marlboro. This is either what remains of Diesel or the most unwelcoming doormat I have ever seen. See, th no, th this could be Donald. Kinda looks like a dog. But it could be Donald. Well, never mind. I guess now it's a home defense method. So, some of you guys may have already seen this, but this is a new teaser from the Oigawa Railway. Soon they'll be revealing a Toby to go along with their other Day Out with Thomas uh, locomotives. Well, believe it or not, I managed to get in contact with some of the people who currently work at the railway, and they were kind enough to show me some behind the scenes pictures of what Toby is going to look like. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it, probably something like this, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you, at least he's electric now. Shout out Connor, he called it first. See, Duck is fine. I'm worried about Thomas in the background there. I just don't think he's appreciative of the attention Duck is getting. Hi sisters, so today we're gonna be trying out this new makeup. No, nah, no, nah, I, I can't even do it. How the hell did I get in Alabama's back rooms? And what is Thomas doing here? Answer that question first. You all think that cage is gonna hold him? Guantanamo Bay couldn't hold this guy. You look like salad fingers, just a little more traumatic. Thomas smiled wide. He was worried at first, but managed to sneak over 14 kilos of black tar heroin over the border, despite being stopped at least 13 times. He sat in the yard flipping packs until he could pay for a new CGI face. And that's the story of the Strasbourg Thomas. And go ahead, think I'm lying, look at Rusty, he's still addicted. For a second, I thought this was in a cemetery and I was gonna lose my shit. Can you imagine being picked up by this at a funeral? You're over here trying to put Grandpa to rest and you hear a beep beep. I'm paid by the hour, asshole, let's go. Uh, no, no, okay, this Thomas went to the one dentist from fairly odd period y'all know what i'm talking about dr bender head ass let's take some bets on why they stopped him one he was speeding two they just didn't trust what was going on here and pretty reasonable three that's not a real tag if you chose number three that's probably it all right Tom, relax looking a little egotistical right now he's like man i am the number one engine <laughs> what does that say up there rail mode yeah duh oh yeah so day out with duck sold out huh that's what it's called. It's called Day Out with Duck, the Great Western Engine, and that's what sold out, right? Not, not Day Out with Thomas the Tin. No, no, it's not. It's not my fucking day. It's all about you, buddy. It's all about Duck. All right, no, this looks like Amy Rose and James made a. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Nope, nope. Shut up, DeviantArt. I always wanted to destroy the rails, and then they just decide to put me on them. 
This isn't what I deserve. This is a handsome locomotive, but that chin strap makes you look like you're about to fight someone in a bar. The flying fuck boy, everybody. See, I know if I was a kid at one of these events, I'd be like, I wonder if it hurts to have that thing stuck in his face. And you see, whoever painted the face gave him the expression of, yes, yes, it does. Now, can you steal me one of your mom's cigarettes, kid? Now, sir, the speed limit is typically 60 miles per hour in this area. But that is for cars, so you kind of got us in a tight situation. I don't know what amusement park this comes from, but there's almost certainly a couple fatalities there. Frankly, sir, we're not sure who to arrest here. Might as well just change the name to Day Out with Duck now. Just make it all about him, because I'm, I'm just not even here. I just don't exist. I'm just not even a part of this, I guess. Oh, Thomas, hello. Oh, Duck, hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? You enjoying the event so far? You look great. I can't be the only one looking at this, waiting for it to transform into an Optimus Prime-like organism that will destroy the world inevitably. Hey, what are you looking at? Actually, I don't even think you can tell, never mind. So, this guy I actually ran into in real life, as you guys can see here, and it just so happens that ever since then, it's been hard to sleep at night. This could be the Oigawa Railway Toby, and I'd be satisfied. I'd be just fine with it. You know what? I don't need the cigarette. A prayer would suffice. So, you could still paint it blue and put the one on it, but you cut it at the eyebrows. That's where the copyright became too much, right? Oh, it even says Tom- oh, okay, okay. The only thing this Thomas is capable of picking up is a felony. All right, so which one of you is taking the fall for the crack pipe? Huh? Which one of you? It's gotta be one of you two. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.